Hey everyone, I uh, just got back from the DG and I found a few things and I found a few things from the office supply store the other day and today I also found a few things from the fabric store. Um, there was more stuff at the DG but one of the employees came out. Luckily I seen the door open and kind of hopped in my truck quick and got away. I know she's still seeing me but she didn't really seem to care. She just threw the garbage away and went back in so um I plan on making another trip out there tomorrow uh their garbage gets picked up Wednesday morning so I'll check back tomorrow because I know I seen a grab bag and it had some of these in there so that's what I was going to get when she came out <laughs> but I'll start here first since this is the stuff I found first I found this at the office supply store um I went back and checked after I had talked to that lady, which I still need to drop off that thing for her. But there was a box of these. It was raining that day and the lid got wet, but the foils are all dry and none of them even got wet. But these are um, like the hanging files for a file cabinet. There's a whole pack of them. I don't know how many's in there. And then there were two boxes of this uh, Keurig. They're like the K-Cups decaffeinated English breakfast which I do not drink decaffeinated um, but I did recently find out um, or find a little pantry near me well it's kind of it's more closer to my sister which her birthday is on Wednesday so I plan on making a trip out to her um, Wednesday so I'll be dropping off some stuff over there at that little pantry so I got two of those there was a pack of these uh, paper rolls I think they're for like uh, either cash register or maybe like those uh, yeah for cash register it says right there I was thinking either that or those calculators that print out with the paper and then there was a pack of markers the package was open and the markers were in this box and when I went to grab the box like half of them spilled out so I tediously grabbed them one by one with my grabber uh, I don't want to get in this dumpster because it has those wasps and I'm a little nervous about them <laughs> so uh, there was also another one of those like plastic things that goes under your computer chair in there it was buried pretty good and today it's back to being warm again which it's been in like the low 70s here with a nice cool breeze the last few days it's been really really nice I can go out and dive with a hoodie on <laughs> so uh, I left that in there if it's still there tomorrow I'll probably grab it um, I can't remember if their garbage gets taken this week or next week like I said this place gets it every other week uh, so I'll check and see but moving on uh, to the DG I found these two cases of sparkling it's hard to read sparkling water it's lime it looks like uh, I think this case right that's missing right here had one leaking in it and it leaked down the rest of these but I'm sure they're still fine I'll check these cases too and see if any of these are leaking but I still a great donation for that little pantry I don't drink sparkling water and I don't know anybody that does so I'll donate these and I'll take this case of water as well um, I have a few cases of water so but this one you can see it, I wasn't even ripped it was just a couple had fallen out it looks like we're missing maybe four and I think those were in the dumpster right by this case of water. Uh, other than that, it's a perfectly fine case of water. So I'll take those two because um, everybody needs water. So and then there was a box of file paper in there. The box had been ripped open. Or filler paper, I'm sorry. Excuse me. And uh, for my kids their school starts next week but they have their like open house type things this week so I'll take this up to the school uh, most of it anyway I'll probably just keep maybe three or four packs for my kids but and I'm sure they can use it up there it's always nice to get school supplies donated and I'll go through those notebooks I found a while back and donate a bunch of those as well but I think these are all the same I had to grab them kind of handfuls at a time <laughs> and I made a stack on the side of the dumpster like in the dumpster still just so I could reach them because these were like buried in the middle and like I said with my arms being weak it was hard enough to get this case of water out there right now my arms are uh, or my elbows I should say aren't working very well for me so I wasn't even sure if I was going to get that case of water out but I did manage to get it and these 
And then there was a box in there. Should have grabbed the box uh, that these light bulbs were in. You can see one of them was broken, but there's still three good ones. And then the same with this pack. Oh, see, there's the broken piece. But there's still three good ones in there. And then there was this, which was in this box here. It was ripped open. And uh, I just had a subscriber comment yesterday on my video where I found all that dish soap before. And I said, I hope I find some laundry soap. I didn't find laundry soap this time. Well, not yet. Like I said, I'm going to go back and see. But I did find more uh, dish soap. And none of these are, like, leaking or, or anything. So I'm not sure. Like, they're not even covered in soap. So I'm not sure why they threw them away. Maybe they were a penny item. Or maybe they were just sick of having them in their stock room. So <laughs> either way, I grabbed them. Now I have more laundry soap. And then the... Last place that I have items for is the uh, fabric store. You can probably tell by what I have from there. <laughs> and there was just these scraps of fur. They were in with like some packaging. So far they haven't put anything else out this week. So I'll be going back up there tomorrow night to check. But uh, yeah, I can use these for crafting, for making those little gnomes and stuff. Maybe I'll make a Grinch one or something. Or um, my aunt, she makes the gnomes like every day <laughs> she makes all sorts of them and I keep telling her she needs to set up a craft booth somewhere but uh, I'll see if maybe she could use it I don't know if I could use the green for anything I'm sure she could figure out something to use with that but uh, there was this big roll of felt I'm not sure I didn't know that felt came like this I thought you just had to buy it by the little 12 by 12 sheets so but that's good for crafting as well so that was a pretty nice haul. Lots of useful things, items I can donate. Um, I'll even see maybe they could use these at the school. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I have a file cabinet downstairs. I just wasn't sure if these um, would fit in there. They look kind of long. But looking at them again, I think that they're normal size. So, <laughs> But the markers will come in handy for school. And I can donate these items and a few other items. And uh, and even the paper there. So yeah, that was a pretty good haul. And I'll toss some of this uh, dish soap in with that little pantry too. Because um, it's more than just like homeless people that go there. There's people that are in need but have a place to go. But they still need to wash their dishes and stuff. And um, even if they are homeless or whatever, they can use that for hand soap. So yeah, not too bad of a haul. Like I said, I'll go back tomorrow and... Uh, see what else the DG has and hopefully fingers crossed the fabric store has something to put out there <laughs> and I can get it but uh I wanted to come on and show you guys uh it wasn't a bad haul today so again thank you guys for watching uh hit the like button it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already subscribed please do or consider subscribing anyway so that you can be notified every time I upload a video and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.